Good everything. Hey guys, so we are in Free Code Camp in the intermediate algorithm scripting bonfire where are thou so what are we trying to do here we basically have an array with some values in it and we need to compare this as our sort as our collection we need to say hey does any of that match our key here or our source so that's what we're gonna do they give us a couple has own property and all this other stuff i didn't do it that way I definitely looked at that documentation for probably close to two hours before I figured out that that's just not the way I'm going to be able to do it. Um, so let me show you how I did it. I, I use filter. They really seem to like filter and I think this is like the fourth or fifth time that I've used it. So what did I do? I declared a function within filter because uh, if you remember filter takes in functions and then uh, I put my code right in it. So if, you, if you're not familiar with filter, go ahead and uh, check that out under, I think it's under strings or arrays. I think it's arrays, excuse me, arrays. So check out the array documentation. So what I did is I did a for loop in which I took our source. So for i in source, so I'm iterating through our source. And then if the source is equal to the item, return true. If it's not, return false, it's that simple. And then return uh, the array. So what it? So let's do that. So we're gonna say for the variable i in our source. So for that, for our sort out of our source here, what do we want to do? We want to put an if statement, and we just want to find out if there if it's contained in there. So if, oops, if our source i is not equal to the item, remember the item right here, the item that we're passing in, item i, we want to return false. And then here, we can just go ahead and say, oops, wrong spot. We can just say return true, and it should all work. So let's go ahead and run that, and it looks like it's working. So let's let's kind of go over in comments here what it is that we did and why this worked. So let's put let's even start at the top for this function where takes larger input collection and compares it with the selection needed aka source so we're just kind of saying what are we doing with collection and source so here we're going to use filter and return true values and you can see right here uh, that it did work if you're down in right here. So we compared which one has for last name Capulet. Oh, this one does. And then you return just this part of it. So here, check values and source and compare with item. Return false, return true. We can take this out. So I hope that helped kind of explain what's going on and where art thou. So we take, we're taking in a larger collection. We're searching through our source data, Capulet, and last, for the last name Capulet, and we're saying, look, list, for any time that, for any time that it, this is true, that Capulet is equal to our source or our item, return, return true. If it's not, return false. So as always, comments, questions, constructive criticism, anything like that is appreciated. I hope this video helped. And I know they're getting a little bit harder, so explaining 16 lines of code that took you an hour and a half in about five minutes may not be the best, but I hope, I hope it helped all the same, and I'll see you guys in the next video.